Lord is such. He will come to us like the showers. Like the spring rains that water the earth. The Lord will come to us. Like the spring rains. Amen. 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 Let us tell the Lord, Lord, come to us today. Amen. Because you have said to bless us. Come today like the spring rain. Right now we are experiencing the physical rains. But the Lord has another rain. The rain of the Holy Ghost. He will come to us like the spring rain. He will come to us like rain. Hallelujah. Amen. He will not come hmm, little, little in bits. But he says he will come to us. And it is that thing that is so sure like the dawn. Amen. Amen. Tell the Lord to touch you. Maybe sometimes you wonder if God is there. Maybe you have been seeking him and waiting for him. Just know that he says he will be found. Amen. Amen. According to Luke chapter 11 from verse 9 says, Ask he shall be given you. Seek and he shall find. The other one is, no, and it shall be open for you. How much shall the Lord give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? Amen. Amen. Shall we ask the Lord to give us the Holy Ghost this morning to come to us like the rain? Zechariah 10 verse 1. Zechariah 10 As rain from the Lord in the season of the spring rain, from the Lord who makes the storm clouds, who gives men showers of rain to everyone, the, visit the vegetation in the field. As rain from the Lord Uliza. in the season of the spring. Uliza. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us ask the Lord. For it is the appropriate time to ask him. It is the season. It is the spring season. Hallelujah. Zephaniah chapter 3. Zephaniah chapter 3. Verse 17. Start from there. Okay. The Lord God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. I will gather those of you who mourn for the festival, so that you will no longer suffer reproach. Behold, at that time I will deal with all your oppressors. And I will save the lame and gather the outcast. And I will change their shame into praise. And renown in all the earth. At that time, I will bring you in. At that time, when I gather you together, for I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth. When I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, verse 17, 7, I say that the Lord is in you. The Lord is in your midst. And he's a mighty one. Mighty to save. And then he's not only mighty to save you. He will rejoice over you. Amen. Amen. You know, there are people who think they are not celebrating. Yeah. Even me sometimes I feel that, that way. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like that. But I want to encourage you today. 
one who celebrates you. There is one who rejoices over you. Jehovah. Jehovah. Yahweh. Yahweh. Our God. Our Creator. Our Savior and Redeemer. And Lord. Hallelujah. The one that we believe in. Our hope. Jesus Christ. The Bible says that he rejoices over you. He will rejoice over you, child of God. If you are feeling so low, if you are feeling downcast, just know that God rejoices over you. Just to know that you are his child, he rejoices over you. Amen. Therefore, you can walk with your head Lord, you know, because God celebrates you. So the next time the devil says you are nothing, the next time he says you are hopeless, you will amount to nothing, it will never work, nobody cares about you. That is his gospel. The gospel truth is that Jesus loves you. Is that God celebrates us. God rejoices over us. And he's rejoicing over you this morning. Amen. The mighty one who will save, he will rejoice over you with gladness. You know what it means to be glad? Hallelujah. Yeah, he will clap. He will, you know, whatever he can do to express the joy. That he appreciates you. That you are his own. Amen. Amen. He will quiet you by his love. Hallelujah. Amen. He will exhort you with loud singing. Amen. If you didn't know God sings, He will sing over you with loud singing. Maybe we are the only ones thinking we sing to God. And probably we don't even sing it very well because we are looking at who is looking. You are not singing loud enough. Now the Bible says that God will sing loud. Hallelujah. Amen. Think about it. That you are important. That is what I'm saying. You mean so much to God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. He gave His only Son because He loved you so much to save you so that you do not perish, so that you do not suffer. Hallelujah. I will gather those of you who mourn for the festival so that you no longer suffer reproach. So if you are suffering reproach, it is over. Tell it, it is over. It is over. In Jesus' name. Because the Bible says, I will no longer suffer reproach. Amen. Amen. Behold, at that time, I will deal with your oppressors. Who has been oppressing you? God says he will deal with them. He will deal with your enemies. Your advers uh, uh, adversaries. I will also save the lame. I will gather the outcast. I will change their shame into praise. God is able to change your shame into praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, whatever it is, just tell it. Oh, the Lord has changed. That situation, now I am no longer the same. Now I will be called praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will be called praise. Where I was down, I will be up. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, there will be praise in my situation. There will be a testimony in my situation. And in the name of Jesus, all things work together for good. To those that 
love God and love God according to his purpose. Hallelujah. That situation will change to become a testimony and a praise. It will give glory to God. Because the death of Lazarus was for the glory of God. Hallelujah. That death situation will become praise. Amen. 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 God will give me a testimony. Say to somebody, God will give me a testimony. From today, I have a new name. I have victory. My life has changed because Jesus is here today. Amen. Our things work together for you. God. And I love you, Jesus. Therefore, my situation changes. Amen. Amen. It will become a praise. I will give a testimony of what God can do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. before your eyes, says the Lord. Amen. I will restore. He promises to restore. Even our fortunes. Whatever we have lost, the losses we have you know, occur, that has, have occurred to us, the Lord promises to restore. Our fortunes what is it that you lost? God says, I will restore your fortunes. I will restore your finances. I will restore your wealth. Even what the devil stole from you, I will restore it. The Bible says that he restores what the cacaos ate. It is normally found in the book of Joel, chapter 2, somewhere but, there. That he will restore what the cacaos ate, what the locusts ate, whatever they ate. Hey, those devourers. The Lord says, I will restore your fortunes. Amen. Amen. There is everything in God. If you have never given your heart to Jesus, He will give your heart to Him now. Hallelujah. Amen. Because in Jesus there is everything. He fights your enemies. And now He restores your fortunes. Yeah. He saves you and gives you eternal life. And after this world, you will not perish. You will have it. You will have eternal life with him. Because what shall profit a man? To gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Amen. Amen. 
And Jesus promises to give us eternal life. He also promises to give us everything. He came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. We have abundance in Jesus. Hallelujah. You have not lost by accepting the Lord as your Savior. You have everything. Amen. Amen. He told King Asa, You will fight me when you seek me with all your heart. You will find me. That is found in 2 Kings chapter 15. And when King Asa sought the Lord, put away his idols, he, the Lord was found of him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us ask the Lord. Let us seek him. Let us knock at his doors. Amen. Amen. Let us read Philippians chapter 2 as I finish now. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Just scroll down. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And that every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us ask everything to bow. At the name of Jesus, at the mention of that name, every sickness to pass, every poverty to pass, every devil in hell against us to pass, and every time confess that Jesus is Lord. Let us confess that Jesus is Lord in our midst. Amen. And let every situation pass. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.